you didn't think about is, all right, if that trauma and hurt wasn't there, would I be able to maintain this relationship that with that person? That part. Would I have even bonded this way with this person? Mm -hmm. I would, would have never it? given you a chance if we never had that. If we never had that thing yeah. in connection. And so then in lies with a lot of transactions, you have to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's the, another piece that is missed for adults is that we just don't talk around or through what's really happening. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're not, we're not ready to identify, hey, you know, this, this has been cool, but a part of me has shifted and that's mm -hmm. to be to be okay or even identifying not really what's expected but what is what is my outcome mm -hmm. as we're shifting into a space together mental health monday as an educator to teacher we're kind of combating a couple of different angles which is always going to happen um what are a couple of those angles oh my goodness First is secondary trauma mm -hmm. um, and identifying that and having and, and letting the students be okay with identifying that. Would you be able to define first trauma and secondary trauma? First trauma from my understanding from what I've been reading mm -hmm. um, is I experienced something. I experienced a traumatic uh, death in the family incident. Mm -hmm. I experienced homelessness. I experienced uh, family separation, something with me, right? Yeah. Secondary trauma is I'm experiencing this and you're watching and now you are responding and reacting to that. So that's, would you say that is sometimes what trauma bonding comes from in terms of Ooh, people wanting question. to be there and a part of your experience of how can I help this person? And the goal isn't usually to get closer. You just mm -hmm. happen to get closer while trying to help that person. Mm -hmm. And then, it, yeah. So. I know that was a wrinkle you weren't No, before, no, no, I no. Like but I like, I like it. That makes sense. That yeah. makes a lot of sense because I'm just an observation of my students and in the, the school environment, mm -hmm. that's what's happening. A lot of the students are, are bonding over incidents that have happened recently in the school year when they're mm -hmm. in their neighborhood, um, beefs arguments and so it may not even be a you may be a third party a third party associate of it yeah but now because that main person is going through it and that main person knows that center person we're connected mm -hmm. we're all kind of going through it yeah um but i think also that is supposed to happen mm -hmm. with children with with youth with the develop especially the developing into adults yeah i think what tends to happen with adults is that we don't begin to recognize where our trauma starts and ends mm -hmm. and then where our help starts and ends with somebody else yeah you know what i'm saying and so i think once those th two things start to meld or the identity or the identity of what's happening isn't acknowledged mm -hmm. um that is where to me that trauma bonding really begins because now you both are in a traumatic state trying to figure this out mm -hmm. and you're bonded you know i have an observation so as of late, and I don't think late is two years. I think as of late would be safe to say 10 years. There's mm -hmm. been this conversation of, I don't want my relationships to be transactional. Mm. But I think a lot of us miss that a lot of relationships are naturally transactional. Mm -hmm. And what it really comes down to is what do you view as transactional? For a lot of us, we have a negative connotation with transactions because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I had to pay something and I have this receipt and most people have buyer's remorse. Mm -hmm. And I think when it comes to mm -hmm. what you've described, when people have those bonds in terms of trauma bonding, because that's what we happen to be talking about right now. Mm -hmm. That was the goal, but that's yeah, what we're talking about right you. now. A lot of folks are like, well, I don't really know if I could be cool with this person anymore because I realize we bonded over the trauma, but outside of the trauma, we don't really have anything else that connects us. Mm -hmm. And then you hear the conversation of, oh, now you're trying to make this transactional. It's like, mm -hmm. well, the transaction was the person was there for you and you appreciated that. But the other part of the transaction you didn't think about is, all right, if that trauma and hurt wasn't there, would I be able to maintain this relationship that with that person? That part. Would I have even bonded this way with this person? Mm -hmm. I would have exactly. never given you a chance if we never had that. If we never had that thing yeah. in connection. And so then in lies with a lot of transactions, you have to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's the, another piece that is missed for adults is that we just don't talk around or through what's really happening. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're not, we're not ready to identify, hey, you know, this, this has been cool, but a part of me has shifted and that's mm -hmm. to be to be okay or even identifying not really what's expected but what is what is my outcome mm -hmm. as we're shifting into a space together because yeah. i think those conversations are needed and it goes back to a transaction but people think that's so non-emotional mm -hmm. or x y and z and i'm like no i was like you know 
thinking about being married, if, and this is just me, I, I don't, this is just me. Mm -hmm. I'm going into a situation with someone and I have kind of a calculated list of what I know it means to be married, mm -hmm. what I'm looking for in a partner, all those things, right? Yeah. And if this person doesn't align with that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. We, we, I, I'm not going to do that. And so there again is that transaction of, am I going to put my dollar in or not? Because I, I don't, I don't want buyer's remorse. Mm -hmm. You only have one dollar. I only got one dollar. <laughs> you might not get change back if you put it in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or if I get this dollar back, it's not going to be the way I, I, you know what I'm saying? If, mm -hmm. I, if I put in, I want kind of what yeah. I put in. Yeah. How dare you crumple my dollar? <laughs> you know you. what I'm saying? I got so, you. Yeah. And so you have to, so people are afraid, especially in relationships, to have that conversation. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, you have to. Like, yeah. consent is a thing. And it's mm -hmm. something that people don't readily want to talk about. And everyone, everyone defines consent differently yeah. across the board, mm -hmm. too. The, the same way a lot of people define what does it mean for you to be there for me, a lot of people define that differently, too. Yeah. So these are things that are said in passing and there's not really depth to wait so when you say you want me to be there for you let's let's, really? let's 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 break it down mm -hmm. like you know if you could write a list just mm -hmm. just write a list for me that's it yeah mm -hmm. and <laughs> most of us are afraid because we assume mm -hmm. be there for you is when stuff hits the fan i have to be there mm -hmm. but sometimes be there for you is if you need someone to talk to I'll be the person that hears that conversation and I may not have the capacity to handle mm -hmm. that wave of emotion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and what and, and it is establishing like mm -hmm. what that looks like. And so somebody can say, I can listen, but I may not be able to give you so you're so you know what's expected, especially as we're just going through trauma and identifying what it is, knowing mm -hmm. what's expected and knowing what you want, mm -hmm. you you get to identify those things. We're yeah. allowed to say that, especially the people that are saying, I want to be there for you. I want to care for you and help you through this. Mm -hmm. If this individual that you're talking to responds in a way that, not that you're not expecting, but doesn't align with what you know is safe, mm -hmm. that's fine, but I get to find other people because through this process, I know what I need. And you get to give the kids that language early. Mm -hmm. Now, have you ever ran into issues where the adults in the room don't have the language and now these kids have the tool and the adults are like, how dare you talk to me like that? <laughs> and the kids are like, well, I was given...